arcs and angles are related. When you see the material of this and the next video, you might find it rather banal, but actually it's leading up to one of the most important definitions of trigonometry. We'll start with this observation that we can use angles to define arcs on the unit circle. How do we go about doing that? Well, let's draw the unit circle and let's draw an angle. The x-axis will be the initial side of the angle. And then we've got another line segment forming an angle. And now we go from the initial side to the terminal side along the unit circle. And you see we have defined an arc. Likewise, if you had a negative angle, you would go the other direction, and that angle, once again, defines an arc. 